Okay, today we're doing a repair of this implant. Um, about a week ago he came in and had this really large fistula and it was draining a little bit here. And uh, we put him on a Z-Pack and it looks better but there's still something going on underneath here. Um, we put got a perch in there, tracked right to the implant. Didn't go apically, didn't go to any, either of the teeth. And uh, this implant is about five years old. And um, so we're going to be making a um, tab flap here and exposing the front of the implant. Well, I'm not sure if that caused this or not, but I'm gonna make sure you get that out of there. We have something to hold us back. Is that okay? Yeah. It's funny because it's not near the implant. I mean, it's near it, but it's not yeah. connected to the implant. That's good. You cut it quickly. Something that you need to bone graft That's right. Yeah, we'll graft it. I have that little. If you need a probe or if you need the condenser or anything. No. Okay. Well, what would the straw do? Mm -hmm. And I told him he just said, oh. Mm -hmm.
Okay, we'll take a look at this in a couple weeks. This is the two-week healing of the implant repair we did on tooth number 24. He's got a lot of paradex stain, a chlorhexidine stain that we're going to polish off. But um, everything's looking really good. And um, take a look at the x-ray, and I'll be looking at this in about two months. So this is our pre-op x-ray, and we re really didn't see anything on that. And our post-op x-ray is, is the same. The bone loss that he had was kind of in front of where you would see it on an x-ray, but clinically everything looks really, really good now.